Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. I have a friend that is a renowned prophet that is now in heaven, and this is what I heard him say. A billion souls are going to come to the Lord. It won't be when I'm here, but I'll see it from heaven. And there will be millions, especially young people, that will need deliverance. Why will they need deliverance? It's going to be because so many forbidden doors have been opened because of sin, and especially sexual sin and pornography. So many open doors that need to be closed. And the average pastor isn't even equipped to handle these people that are going to need these things. But my guest had a revelation from God on how to do it, and it's so simple. It's unbelievably simple, and you can do it for yourself, and you can do it for the thousands, and I say thousands, that are going to be lined up at your door. You know, we humans are such complex people. And you read the Bible, however, sometimes it's not working the way the simple truth says. So if there's nothing wrong with God, it gives us only one other person to ask a question about. And that is why so many believers get stuck and never go forward with God because They've, they've got these doors that are closed over problems that are never open. And they go five years, 10 years, 20 years. Give me an example of, uh, of some of the areas that might be symptomatic of, of, uh, of, of problems. Uh, trauma, uh, people, uh, low-grade anxiety where they feel like, I know I'm a spirit-filled believer. I've moved in the gifts of the spirit, but I feel anxious most of the time. There's a serious door that needs to be shut there because anxiety is not walking with the Lord. There's also uh, uh, apprehension about making decisions. There's uh, pet peeves even, believe it or not, can be an indication of a door that needs shut. Um, overreaction to mild stimulation. You know, something goes wrong and you just blow up. Uh, you know, so a statement you made that I know is so true, Dennis, is 80% of the people, if they can just close those doors, if they just close it, they don't have to do the classic, I command this demon to leave. The demons don't want to stay. They just leave on their own, 80%. 80%. Uh, when we taught people how to close the doors, that was the first indication. All of a sudden, and in some cases, they didn't even know uh, it was demonic. But they would say, I feel lighter. Something lifted. Wow, that was great ministry. I don't understand it, but I know that I'm better. And they will see the residual fruit of freedom after the ministry session. That's the significance of closing a door. Oh, okay. How did you first learn? Because it's so simple. But you know what? Jesus said you have to become like a little child to enter the kingdom of heaven. So if it's not simple, 
It's not God. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I was a baby Christian with a dramatic baptism in the Holy Spirit, and they wanted to put me on TV and radio and just talk about my baptism in the Holy Spirit. Well, I got my first opportunity to speak to a small group, and they said, Dennis, just share your testimony. I walked up there knowing that I was called to preach. I knew that from the, from the time that I was saved, that that was my calling. And I looked out, and there probably weren't any more than 40 people, and I felt ashamed, uh, had what they would probably call stage fright, and I actually walked off the stage and the worship leader had to do her testimony because they didn't know what to do now that, that Dennis That walked had up. to be such a stronghold. So what'd you do about it? I went home. What, you know what a lot of people do? They'll just never speak just, again exactly. and miss their destiny. Exactly. I went home and I said, um, I'm just a young Christian, maybe six months old in the Lord, eight months old. I knelt down by the side of a couch and I said, God, what is wrong with me? If I'm called to preach, I can't do that. What, I, what just happened to me, I don't understand. And I closed my eyes, and the first thing I saw in my mind's eye, I saw myself when I was a nine-year-old bedwetter. And I pictured myself with clenched fists hating myself. And I was enough of a Christian to know, well, gee, you don't hate people. You certainly aren't allowed to hate yourself. And I saw that I received down in my belly, down in the gut, I received forgiveness for self-hatred. And instantly there was in my mind's eye and simultaneously with what was going on in my mind's eye, I felt a lifting. And it was in my mind's eye a slimy stocking mask. I don't know how else to explain it, like a burglar would wear in a, in a stick up. And it was a slimy stocking mask and its name was shame, and it was lifting off of me. And while I was watching it lift off me in my mind's eye, I felt the, the lightness of it. And the shame literally had the open door of self-hatred in my life. I didn't know it was there. That was something that I, uh, as a kid. But when it was gone, did it, well, how did you change? Oh, this is remarkable. From walking off the stage, wouldn't you know God had it orchestrated it so that the very next day they said, Dennis, we want you to speak in front of the whole church, your testimony. <laughs> and I'm going, haven't you heard? <laughs> you know, yeah, I have a track record here, and I don't know. But anyway, I walked up there, and I stood by a pulpit, and it was, I felt like a cowboy in a saddle. It was like, this is where I belong. Okay. I like me, but it was a God confidence. You too have equipped literally thousands of people to be free from so many insomnia, uh, so many different areas. Uh, and it's so simple and so easy. As a matter of fact, uh, Dr. Jennifer Clark actually got physically healed when she learned how to close these doors. I want to find out about it. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of His government and peace, there shall be no end. Jesus the Messiah came as a suffering servant, but will return as the conquering King. We now return to It's Supernatural! You see, when you close these emotional doors, uh, doors that might have been opened from sin, maybe from before being a believer, or maybe even through ancestry. When those doors are closed, people are getting physically healed. Uh, and uh, I, I, I'm just curious, uh, Dr. Jennifer, uh, the people that are getting physically healed, uh, do they actually pray for healing? Or when they get their freedom, the healing comes with it. What we have seen is that soon, as soon as people deal with the door, that healing manifests automatically in many cases. Right, and you had a life-threatening uh, disease. Tell me about that. Well, I had a heart condition and took several different medications, and so after 
I had met Dennis and he taught me how to deal with doors, I had the condition flare up. And it was very frightening because it was life threatening. And so I felt fear in me, which meant that's an emotion, but I felt fear all around me in the atmosphere, that's when you know that um, there's some demonic presence there. And so my heart flared, heart condition flared up. I received forgiveness. The demonic presence in the room automatically left and dissipated and my heart went into normal rhythm and I was physically healed of that condition from that time on and I was able to stop taking my medication. How did you take these spiritual concepts, which for a lot of people are hard to articulate verbally, mm -hmm. and make it so simple? Well, well, for one thing, I paid attention to how Dennis had me pray, and I started saying to him, people don't know these keys, and he just stayed in his own church pastoring all over the years when I was sitting in church pews, and I said, you don't understand. I've never heard anybody teach this. I've never heard this. And so I just went by the way he taught me and just documented it step by step because he followed the flow of the Holy Spirit, but we know that the Lord works according to patterns and principles. And so I, because I needed the small steps, I started writing down the small steps with the idea in mind, I want people to be able to understand this so they can get free too. And this is, I thought, God is so clever. He put somebody who had the rich spiritual experience that he had trained in the things of the Spirit. He put him together with me and gave me the gift of writing. And I was able to start writing at first cards and pamphlets. And eventually it expanded into books because I want believers to have these tools and the freedom that I experienced. Okay, uh, Dennis, just briefly explain dropping down and what that is. Well, dropping down for me was the minute I closed my eyes, I would feel the presence in my gut. And I just basically would tell people to open their heart. But I noticed that a lot of times when you would say open your heart, they were locating, they had trouble locating. And so it was almost to the point where I told with Jennifer even to get her out of her head, put your hand on your belly and focus on being God and dwelt and open the door of your heart. And once it was like a revelation to her that everything good happened down here and informed this up here. And so I would just say, now while you're dropped down, when peace is ruling, Jesus is ruling. And that's how you deepen your relationship. You want to maintain that rule of God and it's perceptible. What, what I found was I can willfully get in touch with my spirit. My spirit isn't here. My spirit is here. Mm -hmm. And I have found that I can, through practice, I can get right into my spirit immediately. What would you say, Dennis, is the first step to self-deliverance? The, the first step to self-deliverance is starting from the spirit. Everyone knows, even forgiveness, I watch people struggle with forgiveness and they say, Matthew 18, but Matthew 18 says, from the heart. And I watched people give forgiveness, pray after me prayers. But if they wanted to get deliverance, they've got to start in the belly. And when they realize that Jesus is the forgiver, he's the deliverer, that the deliverer wants to rise up, the healer wants to rise up. So first step is knowing that you start from the inside. When you close the door on the inside, then anything that's influencing from the outside has no ground. Do you find that most Christians, even mature Christians, need to close these doors? Absolutely. And, and to be thorough, even with closing the door through forgiveness, they need to know that it goes in three directions. They need to know that, uh, that there can be a barrier between you and someone else. You need to let that river of forgiveness flow to them. You need to receive forgiveness. Oh, the Christians that were set free, who basically didn't have anybody do anything to them, they did it all by themselves with self-hatred, anger, mm -hmm. self-judgment. They would receive forgiveness and feel demonic activity lifting. And other times, believe it or not, they need to release the judgment they made against God. Hmm. 
Like, why did God let that happen? But, but that I've been instructed that forgiveness is a process, sometimes even years. What would you say? Um, that's absolutely a fallacy. I, I would say stronger. It's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> you can, well, I'll tell you what. When we come back, how would you like to wake up tomorrow morning without any of the traumas that you went to bed with, without <laughs> any of those fears? How would you like to walk in peace, God's peace, seven days a week, 24 hours a day? We'll be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get Dennis and Dr. Jen Clark's brand new book, Self-Deliverance Made Simple and Study Guide, a practical guide to self-deliverance, plus their audio CD, Prayers of Deliverance, exclusive for our It's Supernatural viewers. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9415. Through this life-changing book and study guide, you will understand that you were created for the devil to fear you. Identify common areas demons choose to gain entry into your life, including your thoughts, fears, soul ties, sexual sin, idolatry, inner vows, soulish prayers, and more. Understand how to get rid of toxic emotions that allow hitchhiking spirits to cause torment and destruction in your life. Learn the difference between good emotions and fear-based emotions. Understand how to obtain freedom for yourself and be empowered to close every door to the enemy and make sure those doors stay closed. Learn how to tap into your power of forgiveness to take back legal ground from the enemy and bring down every stronghold of the enemy. Get set free from anxiety, depression, panic attacks, stress, addictions, loneliness, sleep disorders, and demonic oppression. Through these simple, easy-to-use tools, you will begin to walk in God's supernatural peace 24-7. After you've obtained victory, the anointing will increase so you can stay free and then help others. The study guide includes questions, exercises, and explanations on how to activate what you're learning. It includes prayers to declare over yourself to help you through the process of self-deliverance. Dennis and Dr. Jen Clark share on their audio CD, Prayers of Deliverance, personal experiences, teachings, and anointed prayers to help you get rid of obstacles holding you back from obtaining God's promises and blessings for your life, guide you through the process of self-deliverance, free you from generational curses and mental strongholds, begin to fulfill your God-given purpose and destiny with God's supernatural power. Don't miss out on getting Dennis and Dr. Jen Clark's brand new book, Self-Deliverance Made Simple, and Study God. A practical guide to self deliverance, plus their audio CD, Prayers of Deliverance, exclusive for our It's Supernatural viewers. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9415. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9415 or log on to sidroth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. You know, there is an epidemic of loneliness. Uh, what are the statistics on that? One out of five Americans is suffering from loneliness. That'd be about 60 million. Whoa. Individuals. How about worldwide then? <laughs> and what's more is scientists have found out that it's contagious, that if one person in your group of friends suffers from loneliness, you would have a 52% chance of catching it from them. And the reason it's contagious, the secular scientists don't know this, was I learned from Dennis that loneliness is not an emotion. Sadness is an emotion, mm. but loneliness is a spirit that creates a sense of emptiness, even in the innermost being of a believer but for a believer, emptiness is impossible because we're filled with God. And this just amazed me. There's so many keys in our new book, Self-Deliverance Made Simple, that just absolutely blew me away. You, you know something that uh, we do, and I think it's higher than one in five, is we make vows. I never will do that. I'm no good at that. Mm -hmm. You could have made a vow on uh, never, I'll never speak again. Exactly. And <clears throat> I believe that these are destiny barriers, if you want to lack of a better term, because we're watching that it's almost like the enemy knows 
a little bit about where you're going in God. And he purposely will set up uh, a roadblock and inner vows are the perfect roadblock. I will never cry. I will never speak in public. I will never. Once you lock that will in, you know, God wants your will. The devil wants your will. When you make an inner vow, the devil's got that will. And he's got tremendous influence over you. So to me, if, if you look for any time you say, I never, uh, on the other side of that could be your anointing. It could be the fulfillment of your destiny. Jennifer, literally thousands of people have been equipped to wake up in the morning with none of the negative emotions that they had previously. Explain. When you deal with your negative emotions, by forgiveness, they are exchanged for supernatural peace. And if you don't deal with them, that they're hardwired into your brain while you sleep at night. And scientists have discovered in 2012, 2013, through research, that we have a mechanism in our brain that literally cleanses our brain of toxin and waste materials while we sleep, but also when we sleep, if we have dealt with any negative emotions of the day through forgiveness, then any residue from that is also washed out of our brain overnight. But if we don't deal with it and go to sleep on it, then it hardwires into our long-term memory. Yeah, you know, there's so many doors that we humans have to close. I want you to close a few doors right now. I'd like you to, to pray for us. Start out by again explaining dropping down while you pray. Close your eyes, go down to your spirit, in your belly, in your heart, and open and yield to God. Now there are those of you out there who have a spirit of loneliness. Now your heart is open. Allow yourself to feel how you feel at those times and receive forgiveness for having an idol in your heart that's taking up room where God should be. Just receive forgiveness and yield and welcome His presence to come in and fill you. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing bondages broken off people right now. I see, I see a lady and you're weeping with joy because the love of God is pouring in where there was nothing and there was separation that you felt that you were separated from God. And I see several other people. I actually see somebody who doesn't suffer from loneliness, but you have an addiction and you just received forgiveness. And I'm seeing the Lord break addictions off like snapping rubber bands. And I'm seeing people out there raising their hands in the new freedom that God is giving you right now. And I see others of you who are starting to receive forgiveness as, as I'm talking. There are others that are receiving forgiveness. And there's somebody who's getting a physical healing right now because you just received forgiveness and a spirit left. Somebody had cancer and that spirit of cancer has left. And when you go back to your doctor, you're going to get a clean bill of health. And some of the things you thought you were going to have to face, you aren't going to have to face. And I just hear the Lord saying, too, that it, it, even the things that appear mild while you're watching this, and it feels like an ache, those are, those are symbolic of a closed door. It might just feel like an uncomfortableness. Do not minimize any of these things, but basically say, I want nothing to come between me and my God. I'm hearing there are food addictions. Do you know what that has to do with? Loneliness. You know, I mean, it, it's all connected. But when you can close these emotional doors and get your freedom, you can wake up tomorrow morning not dealing with any of the emotional baggage you've had in the past. And you wake up and say, boy, Holy Spirit, what are you going to do today in my life? <laughs> Do you or others you know desire to be set free from physical or emotional sickness, poverty, or problems in your relationships? Are you tired of dealing with anxiety, depression, panic attacks, low self-esteem, stress, addictions, and demonic oppression? Dennis and Dr. Jen Clark want to give you simple, practical, and user-friendly tools for obtaining self-deliverance and help you to walk in the supernatural peace of God 24-7. Call now and get Dennis and Dr. Jen Clark's brand new book, Self-Deliverance Made Simple, and Study Guide 
A Practical Guide to Self-Deliverance, plus their audio CD, Prayers of Deliverance, exclusive for our It's Supernatural viewers. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9415. Through this life-changing book and study guide, you will understand that you were created for the devil to fear you. Learn how physical or emotional sickness, poverty, problems in your relationships are often caused by demonic interference. Identify common areas demon choose to gain entry into your life, including your thoughts, fears, soul ties, sexual sin, idolatry, inner vows, soulish prayers, and more. Understand how to get rid of toxic emotions that allow hitchhiking spirits to cause torment and destruction in your life. Learn the difference between good emotions and fear-based emotions. Understand how to obtain freedom for yourself and be empowered to close every door to the enemy and make sure those doors stay closed. Learn how to tap into your power of forgiveness to take back legal ground from the enemy and bring down every stronghold of the enemy. Get set free from anxiety, depression, panic attacks, stress, addictions, loneliness, sleep disorders, and demonic oppression. Through these simple, easy to use tools, you will begin to walk in God's supernatural peace 24 seven. After you've obtained victory, the anointing will increase so you can stay free and then help others. The study guide includes questions, exercises, and explanations on how to activate what you're learning. It includes prayers to declare over yourself to help you through the process of self-deliverance. Dennis and Dr. Jen Clark share on their audio CD, Prayers of Deliverance, personal experiences, teachings, and anointed prayers to help you get rid of obstacles holding you back from obtaining God's promises and blessings for your life, guide you through the process of self-deliverance, free you from generational curses and mental strongholds, begin to fulfill your God-given purpose and destiny with God's supernatural power. Whether it's trauma or whether it's fear uh, or, or whatever emotion you're dealing with and it's the book self-deliverance made simple the study guide a practical guide to self-deliverance and the CD prayers of deliverance trust me start with yourself walk in peace 24 7 and then help as many people as you can. Don't miss out on getting Dennis and Dr. Jen Clark's brand new book, Self-Deliverance Made Simple, and Study Guide, A Practical Guide to Self-Deliverance, plus their audio CD, Prayers of Deliverance, exclusive for our It's Supernatural viewers. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9415. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 2 28278. Please specify offer number 9415 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. I have been an investigative reporter of the supernatural for over 40 years. I've never heard of what just happened in Tel Aviv, Israel. 33 buses pulled in to the hall that we rented, jam-packed with unsaved Jewish Israelis. Why were they coming? because I was doing a lecture on the supernatural and I promised miracles. Between you and me, I can't heal anyone. But when God shows up, all things are possible. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide.